We've asked Dr. Huntington about his research on activated protein C as an alternative treatment to replacement therapy for bleeding disorders in general. Well, first of all, as you know, this is a really exciting time in the hemophilia space right now with all the new uh, factors, the long-acting factors, and the non-factor replacement therapies as well who are in clinical development. So um, our approach is uh, slightly different. Um, it, we're actually knocking out or, or down tuning one of the natural anticoagulants called activated protein C. And this circulates in everybody, in hemophilia sufferers and in, in non-hemophilia sufferers, at a concentration that actually keeps you from making enough thrombin early on. Okay, so all we're doing is putting an inhibitor in there that knocks out that, that anticoagulant, and we get complete rescue of bleeding in the hemophilia A and B mouse models, and we believe that this is going to eventually have the profile of both a treatment agent and a once monthly subcutaneous prophylactic agent mm -hmm. for all forms of hemophilia with and without inhibitors and maybe for other rare bleeding disorders. Have you started clinical trials? We're well on the way to taking this to the clinic. So mm -hmm. we're well um, and on the way to manufacturing and toxicity studies and all the things that you have to do formulation studies. So we will have a subcutaneous and IV formulation that will be the same, mm -hmm. and um, we will be in the clinic in June next year. It's much quicker to get a hemophilia agent approved than it is, let's say, in thrombosis mm -hmm. or other, other types mm -hmm. of diseases. So at yeah, some point, you have to run a big clinical trial and mm -hmm. show that you have superiority, both in terms of efficacy and, and safety. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, but our first clinical trial um, will begin, um, like I said, June next year. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we will, we will probably go straight into patients with that. And we're recruiting patients uh, pretty soon, so keep, keep an eye open. I think we'll probably want to do something in Italy with Flora. <laughs>